hurry up, dude. <laughs> <laughs> It's a video. <laughs> 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 And look who is here. John. By the way, he started his vlog channel on YouTube. So make sure to go follow him. I'll put his link in the description below. I watched uh, a couple of his clips uh, coming into my house. And it's pretty good. So y'all better check him out. Make sure to subscribe. Follow him on Instagram. And subscribe. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Look at that, he's vlogging with his GoPro. Right now we're about to go eat, and then we're gonna go test drive one of the GMC Sierras with a seven and a half inch rough country lift. Where are we gonna eat though? Chick-fil-A, son. Chick-fil-A life. Chicky fil a Eat that chicken. Not the boom boom. <laughs> right, JW, it's gonna be 538. There you go. Did you guys see that? You guys should definitely use Apple Pay. Unless you have an Android, well then, it sucks to suck. What the hell is wrong with this guy? <laughs> Look, he just added mayonnaise and ketchup together. What is this? What do you call that? That is disgusting. Mayo ketchup? Mayo ketchup? Does anyone else do that? Because that's disgusting. <laughs> disgusting. Really? Yeah. You like that too? French fries? Oh yeah. Really? See? Yeah. People who don't like it, you're disgusting. Wow. I know it sounds weird because I thought it was weird. Yeah. People were doing it when I was in college and I was like, once you taste it, oh my gosh. People actually do that? Mm -hmm. Wow. And the other thing is, well that, but when you make a sandwich, yeah. if you have tomato on it, you always put the tomato next mm. to the mayonnaise. It totally, you're going to laugh, but it totally changes the taste of the sandwich if those two are together. Yeah. I don't like mayonnaise. Oh, okay. Well, like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me do mine and yours at the same time. Ooh. So what, what he said was, uh, I was, he was like, oh, I don't have the keys. I lost the keys. I was like, what do you mean you lost the keys? That's not good. He's like, oh, I think whoever was test driving earlier took the keys with him. And I was like, and I was like, dang, that's not good. But then he was like, nah, the guy was trustworthy. He's gonna bring it back um, sometime tomorrow. I was like, all right. And then the guy was like, would you trade this in for the 2014 Sierra? And I was like, nah, I have a guy that would buy it already. But I was like, you know, just out of curiosity, how much would you give me for this truck? And he was like, well, how much you have it sold for? And I said, 27. And then he goes, oh, I could probably give you more than that. I was like, really? He's like, yeah, 2,700, right? I go, no, 27,000. And he goes, 27,000? Damn! <laughs> and then he comes out and looks at it, he goes, the diesel? I'm like, yeah. It's like, damn! <laughs> uh, why is this AC hot? This AC is not blowing cold right now. And look at this. Oh my god, we just got in. It is so hot. This is not a GMC key. Like, what the freak is this? This ain't no GMC key. It's like light. It's so light. It's just plastic. It's like there's no battery in it. And what year is this truck? It's a 2014. And then it should have the same key as mine. Yeah. We'll show you his key in a second. But the AC is blowing cold now. So it took like two minutes. Uh, so I'm going to go drive around the block. Let's see. All different filling. <laughs> Four different tires. I can just, feel the tread on this. Yeah. We just drove 10 feet and I can I can feel it. Actually, like we went for like not even five miles per hour. Yeah, I went like 10 That's yards crazy. and I can feel the truck go like Because it's got federal garages on the back. That is known for like riding rough. And then it's got the all-terrain uh, tires front right. And then Toyo Open Country, which is the best top uh bottom uh not bottom back left and then right here is the uh, firestone mts so i hope we can get on the film how like this truck just rides like a school bus oh yeah it's gonna be crazy and it has a rough country lift and you guys already know how i feel about rough country lift yo connor what up boys <laughs> like my truck i like your truck buddy like man. my I really like how it went with four different uh, tires, then the front or rears. 
with the lifters and the riders. Smart idea. <laughs> really gets it the ride quality that everybody's looking for nowadays. I like it a lot. You wanna drive it? Um, I have a pass on driving this thing so nice, I'll probably break it. But I better get out of the way though. Huh? I better get out of the way. Your dad's trying to. Yeah, let's go ahead and move around now. This awesome truck. Check it out. My new whip. Josh, you, ha you have to come and look at it. You like that bit line? Yeah, yeah. I saw that. Y'all remember it? <laughs> did it have four different tires when y'all did it? Yeah. We, we, Are you serious? We roasted this guy when he brought oh, it. Oh, for in. real? Damn, look at this. Hey, it's if got only I had the MC tires on my hey, three. It's got three MTs and we got one all terrain right here for fuel economy. Fuel economy, better mileage. That there gets 12 to the rear wheels. On the front though, this one here, this is what a uh, firestone. That gets you to your next destination. Destination MT. <laughs> that really gets you where you're going. Drives itself. Next here we got Toyo, what I prefer. I really prefer this tire, any mud hole. Moving on over. The Federals, these will get you away from any cop. Federal, gone, <laughs> get them out. Put them on, get them out, run what, the what, cop. What about Mickey Thompson's? Mickey oh, Thompson. fuel economy. Yeah, fuel economy. Gets you any gas miles you want. You just gotta put the settings in, inside the cap. Settings in, you gotta take it off, put the settings in. 15 miles a gallon, 20 miles a gallon, whatever you want, put it in, it's going. Gone. And then the Firestone. I like, my, I like to put my Mickey Thompsons, my old ones at least, the ones I used to have. I like to put those at about 5 miles a gallon. 5 miles a gallon? Yeah. It really, really works good there. You want to trade? Oh, man. See, nah, I can't afford that one. Can't you can't afford, afford that one? Nah, I can't afford that one. Not with all them tires on there. That's true. Can't afford it, buddy. I wish I could, man, but I... 31.9. No, can't afford it. Nope. Can't afford it? Not with them tires. <laughs> Not with them wheels. <laughs> hey, he said the best he could do is uh, 30,000 cash. 30, <laughs> yeah. I was like, how about I give you 25? He's like, whatever, oh. buddy. That's why he's got a lot full. Bad it, son. You gotta get the brownie. Oh, all right, let me, let me go close. Hurry up, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's a video. <laughs> you got me on out, buddy. That's the hunter special though. I really prefer this truck. For any hunter out there, if you're like me, you know what this is. You know that's browning. And you know that's gonna get you all the deer. It's gonna get Five you. Five extra horsepower. Extra horsepower, extra mud holes, <laughs> any 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 terrain, you name it, you got it. Browning. Browning. Proud sponsor. Here, brown and get you through anything. This truck does look nice from the outside, though. Like from like two miles away, with your eyes closed. I give it three miles. <laughs> three miles. Three miles away. Did he buy it like this? Yeah. Uh, what's gonna What's gonna be a good idea? If you take your truck down there, mash Pontiac, see how much you can get for it from the dealer. Why? Because they're not very smart sometimes. <laughs> and you know what? We might can finesse them boys down there at the dealership. They might give you $87,000 for your truck. I want to trade it in for a Ferrari, though. Well, they paid $102,000 for that uh, that one truck up there, uh, that 16 Duramax you had in your video. They paid about $102,000 for it. I mean, they might, you might be able to get at least $32,000 for your truck. Trade her in, get you a new one. If I can get like twenty seven, I might do it. I'd do it in a heartbeat. I'd do it for twenty six. All right, we got 32. Go. I'd be looking for 32. 32. They'll probably get 32. And then Connor just got his windshield tinted. Whoa. 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 <laughs> Can't see me. Country boy style. Country boy Browning. style. Browning. Hey, you want to take that one off and put it on your truck? Man, I can't afford that sticker. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't no thief either. But that thing is nice. But sure, I would sure say you wouldn't take it off. I think that's, that's a $10,000 sticker. So this truck is a lot worse than I thought. I came by dealer options just to see what Connor had to think about it. 
and uh, I mean we found out all these little scratches and like dents that I didn't see the first time hard pass but let me know should I buy this for 25,000 do you guys think it'd be worth it because I personally don't think it would be but for $25,000 for a 2014 I might do it but this truck is in pretty bad condition and I mean it is four-wheel drive so there's that I just got done test driving it I dropped off the keys and I asked him I was like hey man what happened to the real keys and he was just like I have no idea I didn't even I, he didn't even know that that was like an aftermarket key and then uh, he it's was just sales. It's the sales rep, and you don't even know. And he was like, <laughs> he was telling me that it was more than likely been repossessed, and when it gets repossessed, they don't uh, give up their real keys. So that's why it had an aftermarket key. I went in there, and I was trying to negotiate with him, but they were not willing to negotiate. He said, thirty thousand as is cash, or thirty-one nine with new set of tires not a chance I would pay that much because why would I get rid of this good old dirty max for that POS for $30,000 well now we're about to go to Southern Moon hang out with the boys and see what they're doing over there I just want to say that like I'm really happy to be in my truck right now after test driving that black one like uh, test driving that black one really made me appreciate my Duramax because I mean I'll show you guys in a second like as you guys saw earlier, it might have been in his video because I don't think I filmed it. So if you go check out his video, I was going like this, right? Side to side. I was going side to side like this and that truck was about to flip over. But my truck, it's pretty stable. And I mean, for what, 13, 14 years old, it is pretty nice, I think. And I really just appreciate my truck after driving that POS, POS. Boy, you better stay in your lane. My truck's bigger than yours. <laughs> How many of you guys actually own an Eno? If you guys don't know what an Eno is, it's a hammock. And I, the reason why I bring it up is because I have an Eno. I got it a couple years ago. I paid around $100 for the Eno, the hammock itself, and the straps. This one right here, made by Icer, it is literally, it's just like Eno. It's the I mean like just looking at the stitching and everything it is just like you know but it's only $29 $29.99 so it's $60 cheaper than Eno. Uh, I think this is a single size but I might just swing by and uh, buy another hammock for myself because why have one when you can have two and this is only $29 plus tax like I said earlier, this is a strap that comes with that hammock over there. $30 for the hammock, and it comes with this strap. The strap is just like my Eno strap, and I had to pay $30 for my Eno strap separately. And this comes with the hammock for $30. And if you guys are interested, come swing by Southern Moon Outfitter if you're from Augusta. Even if you're not from Augusta, come down here anyway. Got kayaking. I started kayaking about six, seven years ago, and uh, I don't know if you remember when gas reached a little over four dollars a gallon. Mm -hmm. um, I couldn't afford to go to the lake anymore. I had a 24-foot pontoon, an old Jeep that got three miles to the gallon pulling that pontoon. So I had to find a way to get on the water. And honestly, I was scared of kayaks. As big as I am, tall as I am, I figured if I flip, I'm done. Um, I had some friends that convinced me to uh, check into it. I started doing the research. Wound up getting a, a hand-me-down kayak somebody gave me. Um, bought some cheap ones for the wife and the daughter and uh, we got out on the water and absolutely just fell in love with it. It became so much of a passion that uh, I actually left the computer industry after 25 years uh, to uh, start the shop and make a quarter of what I used to make. I make a lot less money than I used to. But I also consider myself semi-retired because this is a passion. I love it. I enjoy doing it. So uh, I don't consider coming in here work. By the way, that's Kevin. He owns Southern Moon Outfitters in Augusta, Georgia. Check him out. I'll put the uh, Instagram right here. So check him out. Uh, follow him on Instagram. And uh, what else do you do? Facebook? Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Sweet. Beautiful shop. I'm going to start. Like, whenever we go to tournament, I'm going to try to...
Yo, check out this little sucker. <laughs> little sucker. Like, you don't have to worry about spilling your beer. <laughs> then it comes off. Watch Dang. this. What? That's cool. Yo, check this out. So let's say you're out kayaking, right? Look. I mean, this isn't going anywhere. This is perfect for kayaking, really. Or, or boating or anything. Just... That's cool. It is currently... 11.15, we had a long day. Make sure to check out his video because he actually has a lot more clips than I do. We actually went out and uh, drank a little bit, played darts, played pool, and he got all of that on his vlog. So make sure to check it out. Give him a follow, subscribe to his channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Be quiet. <laughs>